Hello everyone, uh, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul Kiva Labs. So in today's tutorial, uh, we will see uh, the project component uh, of the test management tool that is Test Collab. So uh, we can create a project, uh, we can edit a project, uh, delete a project and uh, several operations we can do with the project component in the Test Collab tool. So uh, as you can see on the screen that these are some of the important functions related to a project. So uh, let's go to uh, the tool itself and uh, try to add a new project. Okay, so uh, this is I have already logged in uh, testcollab.io slash projects. So you can also uh, log in uh, as per your credentials. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, for adding a new project on the right hand side, you can see a green button which says add project. So adding a project is very easy in test collab. Just click on add project and and uh, it will ask you for uh, the project name. So uh, you can give any project name as per your convenience. So I'll give test test project. Okay. Now uh, there is a bar uh, present here which says that import team members from the existing project. So test collab uh, provides you with an opportunity or the feature where you can uh, import the team members from other projects as well. So for that what you need to do is you need to just select it here and you need to import users from which project. You have to give the project name. Right. So as of now I have not added much users um, in a test collab. So I will uncheck this option as of now. So let's focus on creating the project and after giving the name of the project, click on create project. Okay, so uh, this is the project dashboard uh, where uh, you can see different, uh, you know, uh, the options present here like total time spent in testing, uh, test cases created, test execution, uh, number of defects reported, assigned cases passed and time spent per execution. So uh, since it's a new project we don't have any test cases or uh, we haven't spent any time right so everything is zero uh, as you all can see on the screen right okay so uh, let's explore a little bit about the project dashboard so uh, apart from these details you can see some quick links that are mentioned here so you can add a new test case from the link itself present out here or you can add a new test suit or you can add a project member as well so these are some quick links or you know or kind of shortcut uh, they have provided here right and next option we have is the print option so this is used for you know printing the details if you want to take a printout just click on that and it will give you the summary coming on the left hand side you can see the project dashboard so this is the project dashboard which we are on uh, the current page uh, coming down we have the test cases so test cases uh, adding the test suit add test cases uh, you can import the test cases as well and you can make uh, reusable uh, suits and steps as well and you can also create your tags as well. So this is on the test cases option. Then we have the test plan, uh, we have requirements, uh, we have reportings, right? So this uh, we will deal a uh, topic by topic in the later uh, sessions. For today's topic, we uh, must focus on the project. So after adding the project, uh, what you can do with that particular project, right? So <clears throat> as uh, in the starting, we have seen like adding a project. Now you can edit a project as well and you can delete a project as well. So uh, let's see where uh, these options are present. Okay, so uh, we are on the project dashboard and if you go here and click on projects, so all the projects will be listed out here, right? So this is the project that we have added just now, test project, right? Now these are two, you know, uh, three dots are present here. So if you hover on that three dots, you will see uh, the options present out here. And here you can see, you know, edit and uh, delete the project. You can archive the project as well and you can add members to the project, right? So say for example, I want to delete this project. I have created it by mistake. So I'll click on delete and it will ask you uh, like your project will be deleted permanently and uh, you know, all data like test cases, test runs will be removed, all right? And no one can undo this deleted projects can never be recovered ever right okay so uh, let's click on yes i'm sure so i'm i want to delete this project i i'll click on yes i'm sure so see here the project is deleted right project deleted you've got the message as well here so this is how you can delete a project Similarly, if you want to edit any project say for example on the screen i can see library management system a project is 
already created and I want to click on edit right so by editing the project it means that you can edit the name of the project suppose I want to give it the name as library management system as one and click on save changes so the name gets changed right so this is about you know uh, editing and deleting um, a project right okay reopening a project so reopening a project means uh, suppose you have uh, uh, done the project into archive like you have archived the project right and now again you want to reopen that so archive uh, projects you can uh, reopen again so for that let's try to add uh, a project here uh, let's, uh, let's take the same uh, example test project and click on create project right now again uh, you can go here on the projects tab and uh, when you click on these options there's an option that comes archive and then a dialog box will come which says that do you want to archive this project are you sure so i'll click on ok right so project test project is successfully archived right <clears throat> now uh, suppose you want to reopen that project so uh, let's see from where we can do that okay so on the left hand side you can see the projects and archive projects right so this is the project that we have just archived right now if you want to you know re uh, you want to work on the project again you want to uh, reopen that project again so if you click on these three dots again the option will come edit reopen and delete so click on reopen option and it will ask you like do you want to reopen this project are you sure you just have to click on okay so reopening project reopened now again if you go here and click on the projects you will see your project here right so this is the meaning of uh, reopening a project uh, okay the last two options we have is adding project members so uh, you can add you know project uh, different project members into uh, the particular project so say for example i want to add some members out here in the test project so on the left hand side in the settings you will see you know team members option right so as of now uh, like i am the only administrator that i've added here uh, uh, so for adding the members you have to click on add members right and you know you have to select the role out here and suppose i select as a tester right now i have uh, one user that is already added here so i want this user to get added to this project so i'll select you know select that particular um, email id or the name that it says and click on add members to the project right so this member is added to this particular project similarly you know you can add different members uh, pertaining to the different roles you can add as a manager you can add as a viewer uh, you know you can add as a, as a, add as a tester as well uh, right so yeah so these are the team members that we have so this is how we can add you know um, project members um, into the particular project and the last one is the managing the project right so uh, managing means like uh, dealing with the different options present in the project so uh, this is the project dashboard you know uh, we can create the test cases uh, you know we can create the test plans uh, and then the requirements and then the reporting you know if you click on reports you will uh, see the option as activities right so uh, whatever activities we have done on this project you can see out here right uh, so so and so has added a project uh, then again i did something again i uh, you know join the project i mean the uh, this particular uh, new user that rj at the rate gmail.com i have added right so uh, this is you know about uh, the project component and uh, the ui looks very you know very catchy and uh, simple to use and very understandable and all the details will be listed out here right so you know different error prone test cases uh, defects we don't have any defect management as of now so that's why it's showing like this right so uh, in the next tutorial we'll try to you know add some test cases and test suits and, uh, and then we will uh, analyze the dashboard how it has changed right so uh, this is uh, for the today's video i have for you guys and if you have any questions if you have any doubts uh, you can uh, comment and i'll be happy to answer 
and uh, keep learning in life take care bye bye we'll meet in the next tutorial